LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to show you how to put your key onto your keycap and start out by looking at the metal plates that are on your key area. We're um, we're going to do the uh, J. So you can see that to the right in the middle there's one large metal hook and to the left, at the top and bottom, there's two smaller hooks. But you have to look at the different keys because they change position. Sometimes that large hook can be at the top or bottom or to the other side. Now the uh, position for the metal hook on the keyboard determines the position for these hinges. So we're going to determine the position for these hinges, then click them together to make one then uh, we're going to click that onto the keyboard and put the keycap on top of that. So we're going to start by determining the position of the large piece and you can see at the left top and bottom corner there's pins coming uh, kind of like sticking out and on the right top and bottom corner there's uh, two smaller pins uh, and I say left and right because the large hook is to the right, so we're going to align the uh, small pins accordingly. If the large hook were to be at the bottom, then we would put the small pin accordingly. So this is the right position for this key. And also make sure not to put the key upside down like that. It looks the same, but it won't allow the mechanism to work, so you have to feel the top bar. If uh, you feel it's one smooth piece from side to side that faces away from the keyboard, if you feel a bump or an extra piece that faces the keyboard. Um, so that's the right position for this piece. Put it down for now. Get the next piece which is that. And you can see that this one has two pins on the left and um, the pins in the middle those are going to click onto the holes that are in the middle of the larger piece there. So this bar here to the right is going to go underneath the large bar. I mean uh, the large metal hook. So that's the right position for this. Make sure not to put it upside down also by feeling this part here. The left has to be one smooth part on top and if you feel a gap or discontinuation that faces the keyboard. So now you know the position for both pieces, you want to put the small piece over the large piece and we're going to put the bottom, I mean the uh, left bar of the small piece underneath the left, I'm sorry, the right bar of the small piece under the right bar of the large piece. At the same time, the pin that's at the bottom, we're going to insert it onto the into the hole that's in the middle of the large piece. So go ahead and put the pin in, and also at the same time, put the um, the bar underneath the other bar. All right. Once that's in hold down on the corner so the pin doesn't come back out and the uh, the left part doesn't come out either. Now we need to insert this pin underneath 
or into the other hole there. So we have to separate those pieces away from each other in order for the pin to actually go into that hole. Once that's in, this entire both pieces are one. You want to put the left bar of the small piece, I mean the right bar of the small piece underneath the large hook. Once that's in, you hold it down in place and you stretch the hinges that way because we want these pins to the left to go underneath the metal hooks that are to the left. So hold this side in and then try to stretch or push the hinges towards the opposite side. Once you see that the uh, pins are underneath the hooks there, you just get your key cap, you put it in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. Now for the large key, we're going to use the enter key. And it's the same procedure, only on a smaller scale. And it has two hinges. One goes there, and uh, the other one goes at the other side of the rubber cup, like that. So we're going to assume you already have those hinges in. Now the key cap has a wire on the back side and that clicks on the fittings that are at the very top so once you have that wire in you uh... you want to look for the metal loops that are on the keyboard so to the very right here there's a metal loop on the keyboard and to the very left there's another one that is designed for this wire to go right through it then you put those wires in that loop and you lay down your keycap on top of the hinges and you push down evenly on all four sides. That's it for the large key. Now the space bar is the same procedure as the regular size key also. Only difference is behind the keycap there's two wires. So we have to determine the position for the keycap first. You can see at the top here it's cut square and at the bottom it has an angle. So let's flip it over this way and you need to put the wire at the, the large wire at the very top fittings that are on the keycap. You put it right in the center, push down evenly, or not evenly, just push down on it where the, wherever the fittings are. There's three or four. So this m small wire goes right there uh, once you have that, you open the wire up like this, and you flip it over again, and you put it on top of your keyboard, but then you want to uh, kind of flip it like this, so that you can see the wires. Now, the fittings for the wires are to the very right and to the very left. So, same thing, you put the wire right through those fittings, you lay down your key cap on top of the hinges, and click down on it. And that's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.